All right, so today I'm going to take you through the process or what it's like uh, to operate some Zambonis and uh, how that whole thing goes together. So I'm here in the Zamboni room right now. Here's our one. Uh, this is a propane Zamboni. And this one here is our uh, electric Zamboni. Um, right now I'm filling one up with the water here in the tank. Um, and uh, I'm going to go through just a little bit of the process of what it's like to set it up to go on the ice and then what it's like to go on the ice and then also some features of the Zambonis uh, like the blades, the blades, the different brushes, the tank, the snow, how that all, all thing works um, and basically just what it's like to be a Zamboni driver for the day. Um, so first off I'm here in the Zamboni room. Uh, here is a big large compressor. Water just filled up here. This is a Zamboni big large compressor. I have some earplugs in because it's typically really loud in here, um, but the compressor is currently off because it kind of goes up and down. Um, so we've got some very large compressors in here that uh, pump the refrigerant, which sits over here uh, in this tank here. Um, and this constantly is going up and down um, that refrigerant pump. So this is just water, but the refrigerant pumps through. Uh, it goes out into the rink, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, so I'm going to go out in a second to uh, the ice here to cut with this red Zamboni. Uh, i got to cut here after the figure skater just got off. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So I'm going to quickly run you through just the basics of this Zamboni. So I'll start on the other side here. Um, so this is a Zamboni 552, I believe. It's, uh, it's pretty dated, but it still works really well. Um, we've had this Zamboni at this. It's a Zamboni 552 right there. Uh, don't know the date of production, but it's pretty old, like I said, but it still works really well. So um, from the front to the rear, I'll kind of go. So up here, <clears throat> um, here is a roller right here that sits um, on the left side, because you drive, the driver's side is on the left side, and you drive um, along the left side of the boards. So this roller pushes up against the board so you uh, kind of know where you're at, and it rolls nice and smooth. Um, we have this big tank here is what holds all the snow that you uh, shave off from the top of the ice and it gets pumped into here. So this big thing will sometimes get completely full of just straight up snow. And then obviously it dumps down here. We typically dump it outside, but I just had a little bit in there that I decided to dump in here. Coming back, we have uh, two uh, deep cycle batteries that run the, uh, all the electronics, pretty much everything on the Zamboni um, run off these batteries here. Um, here is the tank the actual water so as you can see I just filled it up here um, pop that bad boy on there like that and um, yeah, get this on and that's the water that we use to put down after we cut it to kind of resurface it and it makes a nice smooth surface here um, coming back to the other side here so there's our cockpit Wawa coffee thank you Wawa for sponsoring this video I wish um, here's the cockpit so this is what it looks like when you're driving these Zamboni. Um, ice is on the left hand, or the board's on the left hand side. Um, so some simple controls, horn, lights. Uh, this button here will turn on the brush, which I'll show you. So the brush comes out, you can see here. And the brush sits along the boards and it clears up all the snow that you'll see that accumulates on the side of the boards. So it comes out and it picks up all that snow and shoots it underneath the Zamboni. Um, there's a really heavy duty brush here and it's like really strong so it does a really good job. Um, next, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this off, it's kind of loud. So next here, all right so we've got a lot of controls here and it looks very daunting but it's actually pretty simple. Um, so first things first, turning it on and now it's on we have a forward here time neutral pretty simple there um, here we have a parking brake um, parking brake is set to the off position and this is a uh, just on here um, this one here controls the horizontal auger which I'll explain in a second this one here uh, lowers the blade lowers and raises the blade this one here controls the vertical auger which is this thing right here and then this one here controls the tank um, which is the tank that holds all the snow that gets kicked out, okay? This one here is an ice breaker. It chops up ice that gets caught in the auger so that it can get uh, lifted up. This one here is your uh, your main water that comes out this long pipe down there. 
main auger. This one here is for your wash water. Wash water sits in this tank right here. And then this one here controls the blade depth of the blade that uh, shaves the ice off. So a lot of controls, a lot of things to fiddle around with while you're driving, but once you get it down, it's not very difficult and you can kind of feel around and know where things are um, and it becomes pretty, pretty simple, okay? So I'm just referring to the augers and how these controls control the uh, augers. So the augers, there's two of them. <clears throat> there's one that sits in the rear here. And you can see these blades here. Um, and this is what uh, lifts up the snow and it slides it over to the vertical auger to pick it up and put it into the tank. So the snow is gonna get cut up here by the blade, gonna get chopped up by the auger. The auger is gonna chop it up and take it up this uh, chute here, which you can't really see. Um, there's a chute there, it gets lifted up this whole chute there by that auger there and shot into the tank um, back there. So um, the water will come out here in these little holes here, drip down. There's a nice skirt here that smooths everything out. And then behind this is the actual blade of uh, the Zamboni. So if the Zamboni blade looks like this. Oh, we don't, oh yeah, we do, here we go. It looks just like this. It's very sharp. This is the blade in there. And this is what sets off the rear of the Zamboni um, that cuts up the actual the actual ice. Um, so that's pretty simple. <clears throat> Another thing to note is that all the Zambonis have steady tires because we are driving on ice, obviously. That's the best way to get yourself around uh, ice. <clears throat> all right, so now that I've gone over pretty much everything that you need to know about how the Zamboni works, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it onto the... Now that I got everything going over about how the Zimboni actually works, I'm going to go ahead and bring it onto the ice. Uh, I've got about uh, 10 more minutes here until the ice is uh, freed up. I'm going to bring the Zimboni out, show you how that all works. And uh, POV shots of what it looks like to drive the Zamboni. I'm about to pull the Zamboni onto the ice here. And our procedure to this for this is um, go ahead and lift the bucket up here. So there's a, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand, but. pull up here. That just keeps the bucket coming down in a pinch. Drop that down. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and back it up. the Zambonis on the ice, what we're going to do here is uh, we're squared up kind of about three quarters of the way down the boards and so what I'm going to start doing here is I'm going to lower the blade which is going to be this one here. The blade is lowered. What I'm doing is I'm checking behind me to see uh, how much ice is being shaved off and there's this small portion here and that's how I'm going to set the depth for the ice pretty much the rest of the cut unless there's some spots where I need to lower it or raise it for whatever reason. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to look at the reflection, see how it's cutting, see what it looks like. It looks pretty good there, um, right there. Next I'm going to do is uh, turn on this au the two augers. It's going to get really loud, and then I'm going to turn the uh, water on here as well. I'm pretty much ready to go and start the cut. <gasps> When I enter the building, there's a special feeling from the floor to the ceiling. So hot that your skin starts peeling. I feel like I'm sleeping. People say, wake up and stop dreaming. And I ain't ever wanna open my eyes unless I'm standing right next to the prize.
just finished up the cut, but I'm not done quite yet. So uh, when you get off the ice, you're going to have a bunch of snow that gets trapped behind the skirt here, which is this right here. All this snow here. So you got to come do is just kind of come with the squeegee or something and uh, just uh, go ahead and pull that off the ice because it'll create lumps in the ice if you don't uh, do that. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much done. There's the ice. I missed a spot right there where it's a little dry. You can't really see it. But uh, it looks good. Nice reflection. The, uh, the goal is to have it looking as close to glass as possible because that's how you can get a really good cut. Um, but uh, that's not buttoned up. <coughs> so what we have to do now is, as you saw during that video, um, there's a whole heap of snow inside this tank here that gets uh, sprayed out from when you shave the ice off. You can see some sitting on the top there. So what we go ahead and do is we come over to our pile, which is outside here. And it's about five degrees outside today. So this is going to be quickly. But uh, this pile, or there's nothing here now because it's so hot, but we drive the Zamboni right up to this edge here. Boom, and we dump all the snow right in here. And that's how you can see it's so eroded. It's been dumping snow for so many years. We've got some rocks in there to help with that. But I'm going to go ahead and do that now and uh, show you what it all looks like. basic rundown of what it looks like to resurface the ice. Um, it's a little bit easier now. We're in the summertime, a lot less traffic in the ice. So uh, cuts are pretty simple. There's not a lot going on, but during hockey season, the ice would really cut up and sometimes we can't get completely resurfaced in one cut. We'll take a couple cuts to get it really nice and fresh. But you might be able to hear now that the compressors are on in there. So I'm standing outside because it's so freaking loud. And that's part of the reason I have the earplugs in because the Zamboni's so loud and the compressors are loud. So just sitting here at all, it'll get really loud. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to go over, and it's probably another video, I'm going to go over uh, what it looks like for the rink. So the rink with no ice, how that looks like in the office now. But I just real quick wanted to go over uh, what it looks like, the order uh, of how we actually cut the ice and how we can go um, through the ice without going over the same spot twice. Uh, we can t cover the entire thing. So I'm gonna do this on my board board here. Um, so we can see this marker, probably not. I'll just use another marker. How this works is, <clears throat> so just like that, nice. Zamboni door is here, where the Zamboni goes in right there. We have some boards over here, doors over here for the people. Some stands over here, stands over here, right? What we do is we go in, and this is where I set the blade at, right there. Then I go up all along the boards, all the way around, one time, right? Then from here, I go another one around, all the way around. Cool, cool, cool. Then from there, we go uh, another one. And then we go a little ways, and then we stop, and we go up the middle there. And we go the inside of that line, follow it. We cross over there at the, at the crease there where the goal is, go to the outside of that line. Then we go kind of like that all the way around. Um, <clears throat> And then eventually you come out either here or sometimes I'll finish up there and just drive over there and 
um, come out come out right there. But that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, it's pretty simple. It takes about 10 minutes to do the whole cut. Obviously, to film the whole thing is it? It's a really long process and it's kind of boring. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be back um, in a couple days with uh, what it looks like the bottom of the rink with no ice and how that's going on, um, and maybe some more Zimani stuff as well. So appreciate you watching.